Hello everybody, Kwip here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a PvP review of the Spare Rations Legendary Hand Cannon. And you get this hand cannon from Gambit Prime and also the... Oh, what's the name for? The... The Reckoning. Found it. It's called The Reckoning. Yeah, that thing. As you can tell, I don't do a lot of the uh, Season of the Drifter activities. But we still managed to get the Spare Rations Hand Cannon, and I got a fairly decent roll on it for both PvE and PvP. We're going to be focused on PvP in this video, however. And now let's talk about that roll before we get into anything else about the gun. It has Rampage, very nice to have. Being able to bump up your damage a little bit after getting kills. With this weapon in PvP, that makes it so your 3-tap is a little bit easier. Normally you need 3 headshots to 3-shot kill someone. However, with Rampage proc, you can hit 2 headshots and 1 body shot, and then you'll usually pick up a kill. And that's with just Rampage times 1, so that's pretty nice to have. Next up we have Field Prep, not going to uh, make much of a difference in PvP. Just giving you more ammo, I guess if you're going on long streaks, then you're... Ammo shouldn't be an issue, but it rarely is. So kind of a throwaway perk for PvP right there. Then in the middle row, we have Extended Mag and Light Mag. I'm going with Light Mag because it's only a difference of one bullet, and the reload speed and range is nice to have on this weapon. So I think Light Mag is definitely the right choice here, and you still have a massive magazine size of 13, which is very comfortable and nice to have. And then finally for the ballistics, we have Arrowhead Break and Hammer Forged Rifling. I'm going with the Hammer Forged because it has more range, and this weapon already has really nice handling, which is what is increased with Arrowhead Break, so I didn't feel like I needed to further enhance the handling at all. And also, my masterwork is handling, so handling is handled in this situation. So this gun does a lot of the little things really well, and it has a lot of little things that are nice about it, like the reload speed is quite good, the handling is really good, and the magazine size is superb. However, it does lack a little bit in two of the areas that you would want your hand cannons to be good in and that would be range and stability and when I say stability I kind of mean more like the recoil pattern because this thing's recoil is a little bit funky it goes up and to the right pretty significantly it's a recoil that you have to get used to for sure it's manageable but it's definitely not ideal and it's not straightly vertical like something in the 180 archetype like the service revolver or malfeasance and then as far as range goes it has about as much as a typical 180. My service revolver roll with light mag actually has more range than my spare rations, very slightly, so that's interesting to see there. And the 150 RPM archetype, which the spare rations is in, is an interesting one. It's in between the 140 and the 180. When you compare it to the 140 RPM, it shoots a little bit faster, giving it a better time to kill, which is really convenient to have. Most of the time, you're going to be hitting four shots, and to have a quicker four shot feels really, really nice. Because when I would use 140 RPM hand cannons, I feel like I was always getting pushed by shotgunners and wasn't able to put them down quite in time. But with the spare rations having a little bit faster fire rate, I feel like it's a bit more consistent putting down shotgun rushers. And for the most part, you're really just only sacrificing a little bit of range compared to the 140s, which is unfortunate because range is a really important part of the weapon and helps its registration, but I feel like the effects of not having as much range isn't super impactful in this game because all the maps are so short range and small. And most of your gunfights you're going to be doing ideal damage with this weapon, and if it's not in your range then you should probably be pairing this with like a sniper rifle and then that's where your range can come in. Other things about this weapon is it actually feels really sticky, like the registration is fantastic at least when you're in your ideal range. And I think this is because it has a 92 aim assistance stat, which is really quite high, and so that's a promising part of the weapon. So all that being said, how good is this gun actually, and how does it rank against other hand cannons? Well, I think compared to 140 RPM hand cannons, it's going to be better than just about all of them. Of course, that's kind of roll dependent, but given kind of the same rolls, I would pick uh, spare rations over most 140s, except for like Ace of Spades, of course. Then comparing this to 180 RPM hand cannons, the 180s have a faster four shot than this, and like I said, most of the time you're probably going to be hitting four shot kills because hitting those three straight headshots is quite difficult, especially with this recoil pattern. So because the 180 RPM hand cannons can four tap just about as easily and with less recoil, I'd say that makes them overall the better option. And then when you look at like Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten, those are just way better than the spare rations in their current state. 
but I think they're about to be changed in a couple days here, so they'll be moved into the 150 RPM market type, and that change will probably still make them better than a better rations because you'll be able to three shot more easily if you hit two headshots and then one body shot that will still be a kill. So Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten, even with their nerf, will probably still be better than the spare rations. And that's kind of where this hand cannon stands right now. It's pretty strong, but compared to the top tier hand cannons of the game, it's going to be a little bit worse. However, it's maybe more forgiving and a pretty strong weapon. And that will be all my thoughts on these spare rations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and see you later.